Hey guys, my name is Jason with Mount Baker Mining and Metals. And today I came over and I was getting ready to do a smelt um, of some sulfides and stuff, but I realized that my furnace is just about shot. I've kind of patched and repaired and wrapped as much wool around as I can to keep it going. Um, so today's video, I wanted to show you guys how um, I'm going to build a new furnace and uh, the steps and the materials I need. So first thing is I got to decide what size crucible uh, I want to use in the furnace. So I got to figure out how big to make it. Um, and these are a number 10 uh, graphite crucible. And this is a number 12 fire clay crucible. And I'm going to make it big enough to hold one of these um, so I can do some bigger smelts and stuff like that. So I have this uh, kale wool wrap. I buy this off Amazon. It comes in uh, 24, 25 foot rolls and it's 24 inches uh, wide. And I think it's only about 80 or $90 for a, for a whole roll. So um, I'll get this laid out, figure out how much I need, and uh, show you guys how I'm gonna form it into my new furnace. So for those of us who aren't very math savvy, um, I just took my wrap and uh, formed it tight enough to fit the crucible with a little bit of room in the edges. Um, and it, it, it's a little less than half what I need, but I'm just going to take it and cut it right in half, right about there. Um, this is one inch KO wool. You can buy it two inches thick, which is what I usually prefer to use just for more insulation. Um, but all I have right now is one inch, so I'm just going to double wrap it so you can see here. Um, and I'll use some, um, some water glass to glue this portion together um, so it stays in... Uh, kind of bonds together and then you get the two inch thick um, insulation but uh, so yeah so now I've got my my size I need so I'm gonna uh, cut the the roll in half and then we'll see where we go from there so I've taken my roll and like I said I just cut it in half um, and I just used a trim knife just a just trim knife like this uh, and I just cut it right in half it cuts like butter um, it doesn't even need to be that that sharp and I, I cut it on a steel table so my, my blade didn't stay that sharp for very long. Um, but now I've got my half and now I'll, uh, I'll wrap it up into a cylinder and see how it fits around my crucible. So here's the half I cut. I got my crucible in there. Um, I've got gobs of height. I've got plenty of height here so I can actually use a little bit bigger crucible if I could fit it in there. Um, and now I've got it double wrapped. Uh, I said I was gonna use some water glass which you absolutely can and I've done in the past. Um, but for this one, I'm in a little bit of a hurry. Uh, I'm just going to wrap around some um, tie wire. Some I'm just going to band it together. Uh, and in the past, on my smaller furnaces, uh, I, I typically lift this part up and grab the crucible right off the hearth here. And for this one, I'm actually going to uh, leave the, the wrap around, and I'm going to reach in and grab the crucible out with tongs. And I found, especially in these bigger furnaces that I've built, uh, the less handling you have on the kale wool, the longer it lasts. And so um, for this one, again, it's going to be a little bit delicate. Um, I'm just going to reach in, grab the crucible, pull it out, and then use tongs to, to pour. So um, I got to cut a little square here of kale wool for the top. I usually leave the top um, one inch thick, cut a little vent hole, and another little hole probably right down in here for my uh, propane torch to go in, and then we'll be ready to smelt. Okay, and here's the finished furnace. I got my little lid here, cut a little hole in the top for a vent. I got a little mouse hole cut in there for my torch and uh, wrap some wire around it to hold it all together. So I'll get the, the propane and the, uh, the vacuum hooked up the blower and uh, we'll get her fired up and see how she goes. I just wanted to show you guys another example of a furnace I built, um, quite a bit bigger. This is... Uh, this is, again, just a wrap of kale wool. There's nothing magic about it. Um, a lid out of one inch kale wool with a hole cut on top. And then down in the bottom, there's a crucible. This is one I use um, for little foundry projects and stuff. This is a number 80 crucible. Um, it's about 12 or 14 inches wide and probably about 18 or 20 inches high. Um, so the overall dimension of this furnace is, is two foot by two foot. It's a whole wrap of or it's a, a whole thickness of kale wool there for um, height. And uh, and it's just sitting there. It's sitting on fire bricks for a hearth. Um, I have the two propane injectors, one there, one on the other side. And so there's, I mean, you can, you can make a very cheap furnace of very large size um, that you can smelt uh, gold concentrates, metal, aluminum, brass, copper, 
Um, so again, I just wanted to give you guys uh, kind of a scale, and this is right here where they overlap. I just glued it together with some of that uh, water glass I was talking about earlier. Um, but just wanted to give you guys an idea of scale. You can really build these things up um, and and do a lot of work for for very uh, very cheaply, very efficiently. So anyway, that's a, that's a bigger furnace that I've used in the past. And in this one, I, I have I have easily 50 uh, heats on it, if not closer to 75, up to maybe 100. So they last a long time as long as you don't jostle the the K wall too much. Um, it just sits there and. Um, and does its job. Okay, I wanted to walk you through it now that it's all set up. There's our furnace, the crucible's in there. Uh, there's the cap. We got our wires wrapped, our uh, propane injector here, which uh, this is goes off to the propane bottle over there that you see. This is a blower and chasing the hose down here. I've got a little valve here that I can adjust the air for uh, the amount of oxygen we need. And then this literally goes down to a $60 shop vac I bought at Home Depot. And I just have it turned around to where it blows instead of sucks. And uh, that's what I use for my air. So, um, yeah, we'll get this thing fired up. But there's a, a furnace build that costs less than $200. Uh, you, ha you can smelt a number 12 crucible in it. It literally took me probably 20 minutes. It, it's, it's been longer to film it uh, than it's been to build it. So... Um, that gives you guys an idea. Hope you guys can uh, can use the the techniques I showed you here and some of the ideas and build your own furnace and, and smelt some of your own, own gold cons. All right, and there we go. We've got our little blue flame down at the bottom. Uh, I'm just going to let this warm up very slowly, dry that crucible out, um, and then we'll get on to smelt. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.